What's up everyone? So today we're gonna talk about the narcissistic side of narcissistic personality disorder that spoils you rotten. I'm talking rotten to the core. Now, this is not to be confused with gifts, which is a love language. If your love language is gifts, then you come alive when people buy you gifts. It makes you feel cared for. It makes you feel wanted. It makes you feel like you're on top of the world. It just makes you feel good inside. And you like to express your love by giving gifts to people as well. But this is a different category, so it can be a little tricky. Also, if your love language is gifts, then you gotta really watch out for narcissists. Why? Because they could sweep you off your feet with gifts, and then the next thing you know, you're in a turbulent, toxic, horrible relationship that you just can't seem to get out of. Now, these narcissists will spoil coworkers, friends, their children, their family, their loved ones. If they have a romantic partner, they will often spoil them like crazy with all kinds of gifts. It could be expensive gifts, little gifts. They're gonna do all kinds of things to reel the people in. Why? Because there's some internal issues going on. So they can't express like, oh my gosh, you know, maybe a fake, oh, I just love you so much. Why do they love you so much? Well, because you let me use you so much and I just want to keep my toxic relationship with you. But there's an internal hard drive issue. They have great difficulty with empathy. Doesn't mean that they can't feel it a little bit or does some degree or if they really want to tap into it. Some of them can, but it's kind of an icky thing and it's not their go-to. They'd rather be tough, right? So they lack empathy. So if you're upset with them, they don't wanna lose you, especially if you're an extension of them. So they're gonna buy you things, not all of them. Some of them can be extremely stingy. I'm talking stingy, stingy, right? But then there's the other group that is going to lavish you. They're going to purchase and buy your love, affection, attention, and they're gonna pour it on thick. They're gonna make you feel good. If you guys get into an argument or a fight, expect a cake or something amazing, some jewelry. Uh, you may not get an apology, but their apology is tangible, something that they can see or touch because they have difficulty with emotions, which we can't see emotions, can we? You can't see embarrassment or happy or sad. It's a feeling. And yes, we express it in different ways, but it's a feeling. It is not a box of chocolates, but that is the narcissist's language. So be careful of that. I love when people buy me gifts. I love expressing myself in that way. But this is a different level gift giving process. Be warned, these gifts are not being given to you without a cost. They are buying you number one. They are expecting submission. They are expecting payback. Basically, you're coming into agreement with this person. And you don't wanna come into agreement with a narcissist. It's better if you, I mean, it's, it's a hard situation because if somebody's giving you something, it's very difficult to say, oh no, I don't want that. Because I mean, that would be insulting to anyone, right? But just be aware that you are paying for a ticket. You are paying for a train ride, a dinner for two. You are, you are paying your life to this narcissist because that's what they want. They want somebody who's going to pour into them in a very toxic way. They want somebody they can use, abuse, somebody who's gonna be indebted to them forever. So it's not coming from a genuine place. Like if you wanna thank someone for helping you do something that was difficult, you might give them a gift to show them your thoughts, your thoughts, provoking your warm hearted genuine 
thank you towards them. But narcissists are not made that way. They are giving you something so that you can constantly give them something in return. So just be aware of that, guys. And if you know anybody like this, any narcissists, let us know in the comments. And check out my book, The Workplace Narcissist by Tamara Hunter Zion on Amazon because you want to know the signs. That's so important. You got to know who you're dealing with so that you can function differently because you don't want these people reeling you in and then before you know it, you're in a situation that you can't get out of. It's better to know in advance and that's what I'm helping you to do in my book. So check it out and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.